I am Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link late afternoon, almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and really wrapping up kind of a quiet weather day. You know, a lot of clouds around, but no precipitation. Temperatures, you know, still running a little below average for high temps. We should be around 44, 45. We were uh, in the upper 30s, including 38 in Providence, and that's pretty much, you know, the kind of the temperature range that we're going to stay in the next couple of days, and then turning even colder by Saturday. So, well, for one, there are no major storms after what we've been through on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. You know, fairly quiet, dry skies tonight through Thursday. Got a little weak weather system that'll come through on Friday with some light snow showers. Maybe a coating in the northern suburbs, but even that might be pushing it. I'm not, uh, not overly concerned with that. Good news, you know, dry weekend. You know, Christmas shopping, holiday shopping, not bad. A lot colder Saturday. Then a little milder once we get towards Sunday afternoon. In fact, by early next week, our next storm system, Monday and Tuesday, uh, definitely in the form of, uh, of rain. It'll be very mild both of those days early next week. I see the cloud cover that's been streaming in really since last night. Here's the wider view of New England. You see some precipitation, snow showers in upstate New York and the Great Lakes. That's really not a factor in our forecast. Take a look at the wider view. And you can see uh, the eastern half of the country, nothing really organized. I think all the uh, snow activity will be across the Great Lakes. Quite a bit of lake effect snow is anticipated uh, over the next several days, but uh, nothing more than that. You see shades of blue from the northern plains, the Great Lakes, into New England. You know, cold, but really nothing extreme or bitter here. But we'll stay on the uh, chilly side of things next uh, several days as the mild air stays to our south. So I kind of take a breather here. Uh, from stormy weather. Let me show you the hour by hour forecast. This is 7 o'clock tonight, around 34. And then skies will be uh, generally partly cloudy to clear. Here we are, 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, starting off at around 32 with some sunshine. Looking good, a nice day. And temps recovering to the uh, lower 40s by about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then here we are, Thursday evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, temperatures then back down to around freezing. Still dry. And then later Thursday night at 11 o'clock, we're down into the upper 20s. So chilly, dry, and breezy. Kind of a blustery day. The wind will pick up a bit Thursday afternoon, so it'll make the temperatures feel a little colder. For this evening, uh, mostly cloudy, dry. Uh, temperatures by 11 o'clock at about 32. And then here we are for your Thursday morning. Partly sunny, chilly, dry. Starting off at 32, nothing unusual for a December morning there as far as the temperatures. And then by afternoon, it's uh, mainly sunny, breezy, and chilly. I mean, around 40, 41, 42 degrees, but we think enough of a gusty uh, northwest breeze to make those numbers feel uh, just a, a smidge cooler. So next uh, several days, in fact, really now through the weekend, there's, there's no big areas of precipitation or big storms. Our temperatures running a little below average, in fact, sharply colder by Saturday. And then our next significant system as far as precipitation around Monday and Tuesday, but that more than likely looks like rain and not snow. We're forecasting temperatures to be jumping quite a bit early next week into the 50s. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. I, another video update coming up. Um, we'll post that after this one, like around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, the latest. So just keep in mind, and this is a great thing to bookmark, the uh, the Weather Now link on our, on our weather page. So we do these video updates at least four times a day and a lot more when there's high impact weather or storms coming. So we supplement this with obviously, you know, the, the forecast that you see on the air uh, with these um, web exclusive um, weather updates. So at least four times a day, you know, once in the morning, another one in the afternoon, another one in the late afternoon, another one in the evening, and then a lot more when there's approaching storms or high impact weather. So uh, a great bookmark uh, to link uh, we call it uh, Weather Now. Tell your friends. <laughs> All right, that's the latest update. Thanks for logging in.